Hey guys, Kevin here. What I've got here is a Thunderbolt 3 dock for the HP ZBook series. Unfortunately, this Thunderbolt dock only works with HP laptops, which I think is bullshit, if I'm honest. Um, the model number that I've got is P5Q58 AA. Now the one I've got works with the 15 inch series, but there is a 200 watt version that works with the 17 inch series. What I like to do in this video is do an unboxing, but please consider this video a first impressions video because I think it's something like this, you really do need to use it for a few months to see how it works, whether it's problematic, you know, if there's any problems with it, if there's any problems running it on a daily basis. Now, this can power up to 10 peripherals and it can power two full 4K monitors, but I don't have that. Uh, I've really not got my new setup prepared. I've got an iMac sitting there and I normally use that with a monitor and extend it and I use my laptop separately. But this kind of thing is actually making me rethink how I'm going to get things set up. But what I'd like to do after the unboxing is show you how it works with the monitors that I have. I've got a 1080p monitor and I've got a TV that hopefully will give me 1080p as well. It's not the best setup, I'll be honest, but really what I want to do in this video is just show you it working. So let's get to the unboxing. Okay, what we've got here is a connection cable. This is what you put from your laptop to the dock station. And then we've got the adapter. Now as you can see I've got a UK adapter. But the power brick will be universal. It's 150 watts. We've got warranty information. It tells you about the ports, how it works, how you connect it. And Finally, we have the dock itself. I'll get this out of the way. Get in the way. This is the dock itself. It is super, super small. Very, very light. So we'll just take you through what's on it. We've got a power button on the left hand side. So it's got a really nice grey designed here. You've got two USB 3 ports, you've got headphone jack. Around the other side we have Kensington port, Ethernet port, VGA, another two USB 3s, two DisplayPort 1.2s and a Thunderbolt 3 uh, port there. Okay, so here's how it works. You put the power into here, you put the connector there, and then you take your connection cable and you plug it into your HP laptop and if I get you in the shot it's like that so when you come to your docking station this is the cable that you're going to put into your laptop and it not only connects you to the dock and all the monitors and peripherals it also connects you to the power so you can charge your laptop so I'd like to just quickly weigh it and we've got 224 grams that's less than my smartphone, and that's 7.9 ounces. And it really is portable. It is what's that, around 23 centimeters, which is just below nine inches. Um, across the way, we've got just below six centimeters, two and a third inches, and very thin at the back. Got less than two centimetres, about a centimetre and a half, just over that, which is about what's that over half an inch. Now, this is one of the best selling points about this. It's really light, really portable. But what I like to do at this point is connect it up to the monitors I have and see how we, how we got on with it the first time. Okay, guys, so this should be the part where. I show you how it works, show you 
I can power all these devices and it powers two monitors. But unfortunately I can't do that. This thing is not working. It is driving me up the wall and I'm ready to have an aneurysm because you don't believe how much hassle this thing has given me. What you're supposed to do when you get this is install some applications and firmware. You need to install a firmware, it's called Thunderbolt Secure Connection Utility and you're supposed to install Thunderbolt firmware. That's not the only thing though, you need to also install lots of graphics drivers and all this kind of thing. So I did all that and despite doing all that it doesn't work. Not only does it not work, it crashes a laptop and it gives me the blue screen of death. I was really, really scared about my laptop being broken quite a few times. It was actually making the laptop go crazy. The beeps were so loud it was unbelievable. The fans were going crazy and it was actually, I was really worried it was doing damage to my laptop. The problem is when you actually connect it, it you know, it just switches off right away. Now, I've lost so much time, I mean I've lost probably about 70 hours on this last night. I went through probably about 50 different discussions on the support forums, I installed dozens of graphics drivers, audio drivers, Thunderbolt drivers, didn't work, rolled it back, did it again, rolled it back, did it again, and I still can't get it to work. Now, it could be that this one is broke, it could be the power supply, it could be the connection cable that goes from the dock, or it could be the dock itself. I'm not sure yet, I'll need to speak to HP about it, but it is clear when you go into the HP support forums, there are a lot of people complaining about this, like a lot of people. Most people who have this have had an absolute nightmare getting it to work. So in that regard, you know, it's hard to recommend this because of that. You know, ideally I would have had this working so that I could show you how it worked, but what I have to do here is instead of showing you how it works, I'll show you how it breaks. So I'll click record. Okay, so I've got a TV, I've got a 1080p monitor, both of these are 1080p. And in theory, you should plug it into the dock, but I've got nothing connected here just now because um, I wanted to make sure that nothing was causing any problems. So, take the connection cable and plug it in. Oh, look, maybe the monitor's coming up. Maybe the monitor's going to come up. What's going to happen here? Oh, it's a blue screen of death. Blue screen of death. As far as whether, you know, again, if it all works, then I'm sure there are some of you who will find use out of this. If you look at it in one respect, if you are a business user, then in effect it is a very, very expensive USB hub in a way as well. I mean, this is quite a healthy laptop anyway. This has got like three USB, two Thunderbolt. Um, it's got a lot of great connections on it. But you add this on and you've got another four USB, so that's seven USB ports. That's quite a lot. In addition to the Thunderbolt, the display ports, the VGA, the additional Ethernet port is there's a there's a lot to love about that as far as if you're traveling with this. This thing is small and light enough that you could just take it in your bag. But for most people, I would say most people would keep this at home and use it as a docking station rather than as a hub. And in that regard, I think if it did work, maybe I could recommend it. But I I just don't like the fact that this thing doesn't work with any other devices. The fact that it only works with HP laptops is, for me, quite, quite bad. I'm saying that it works with HP laptops, it doesn't even work with this one, so <laughs> I don't know. Okay guys, so um, I apologise that I can't show you any more uh, about this laptop, or, uh, really, uh, about this docking station, sorry. I really wanted to show you this in action, I really wanted to show you how this could be used, at, you know, to power your setup at home. I was really looking forward to doing that as well because if it worked, I think it could actually help me because what it means is I can keep my other power supply downstairs. I come in, I put it here and it starts charging. But the amount of problems this thing causes is ridiculous and I'll link to the HP support forums and take a look for yourself. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, support forums of any computer company are going to be filled with complaints. But the sheer volume of complaints about this thing is overwhelming it really is and if I knew it was that bad I would have told them to send me something else because I think this is going to be more trouble than it's worth well I appreciate you all watching guys and I'm sorry that I couldn't have showed you more 
I'm a little bit disappointed in myself and it's going to be a hassle to send it back, but there it is. This has been the Thunderbolt 3 docking station by HP and I can't recommend it if I'm honest. If you get any questions about it though, please do leave a comment below and I will be sure to keep you guys updated if I do happen to get a working version of this and I do uh, happen to you know get it all working then I'll, I'll update, update you all, perhaps do a follow up video but as it stands, this thing is a piece of crap that just causes blue screen, blue screen of death. Till next time guys, take care.